Designed and built in 1936, Matilda Mark I entered service two years later. Top speed was only 8 miles per hour because it was considered that infantry tanks needed only to keep up with the infantry. Who until then had attacked on foot in order to keep costs down? Its construction was simple with a commercial forward V8 engine and transmission. While steering, controls, brakes, suspension and so on were all adapted from the other Vickers light tanks and Dragon gun tractors. It was mainly a riveted construction with a cast turret. The first production order for just 60 tanks was placed in April 1937 but later increased to 140, all being completed by August 1940. They were soon obsolescent, being outgunned from the very start by the German tanks of the day. It is supposed to have been named after a cartoon character because of its duck-like appearance and wading gait. Specifications Entered service 1936 Crew 2 Weight 11 tonnes Length 15 feet 11 inches Height 6 foot 1 inch Width 7 foot 6 inches Main armament 1 one fifty inch or three or three inch machine guns. So basically, it would either be a Vickers machine gun, a Browning machine gun, or a Bren three or three caliber. Secondary armament, well, of course, small arms, more than likely pistols because I can't see them being able to carry rifles in the small confines of this weird looking tank. Armour, max 60mm, engine, forward V8 petrol, producing 70 horsepower, speed, 8 miles per hour, and range, 80 miles. So, there is three tanks that survive. One is at Bovington, one is up in Newcastle, and one was used as a target on a tank range. It's in really bad condition, but of course it still, it still survives. So, there's very few left in the world. Um, it was a really odd, ve odd looking vehicle. I mean, them tracks and hull are very exposed. And of course, it was there really to fight dissident partisans in the Middle East, not to fight German tanks in the Battle for France. <laughs>